Yes, a lot of focus, of course, is some of the unknowns, including energy prices. And actually, I don't know if the Treasury's move mean that we're going to see a rotation into value stocks. Yeah, I think that uh, when yields are on the move up, then uh, rotation is starting. There are some sectors that are benefiting. Financials are a good example. And those that are sensitive to it, for example, tech stocks. So uh, volatility ahead indeed. Okay, but Nana, is that going to be sustained, do you think? Because we've seen a lot of head fakes when it comes to that rotation. Is that now going to be something that gets baked in to the sentiment among investors that yields are going higher, technology is something you want to pull out of, it is the growth story, the value story uh, that is back in vogue now? Yeah, I think that the, the whole year, Tom, has been really a story of very fast-paced changes. And uh, there has been as if one quarterly theme at a time. And it seems that the fourth quarter theme definitely is going to be anchored around inflation. You know, uh, inventories are such lows uh, in across the board in so many sectors uh, that what um, is concerning at the moment um, markets around price increases and perhaps breath of price increases is just going to be with us for a bit more before the whole industrial production engine starts and uh, stocks can get replenished. And then where do you see value right now? What are you scooping up? I mean, there is uh, really value uh, in, in uh, regions. So we continue to see value, for example, in those indices in, uh, uh, in Europe. You, you can take Germany as an example, but also the UK equity market that have a good exposure to the industrial production cycle, to uh, also materials and the energy sector as far as the UK are concerned. Um, so I think that their value um, is also enjoying a catalyst that is coming out of the current situation. Uh, but then mm. again, there is uh, old type economy stocks as well, uh, beyond regions, which are compelling at this point. Where are the margin pressures most pronounced as a result of these higher energy costs? Which sectors are going to feel the pain? I mean, where there is, uh, for example, uh, capital goods um, in, in the system, then uh, there is also uh, increased margin pressure. But I would add to the margin pressure that is coming from the input prices, which uh, most companies uh, have faced, but are also ready to pass on to their consumers. We've, we've made a survey that is clearly showing that. But what we are seeing is um, also the pressures that are coming from those sectors where wages <clears throat> are increasing, and in particular low wages. Uh, that would also include retail, for example.